So this is a review of the Mormon uh, Commonator, um, the latest tool. Um, Mormon was very kind to send me a 14 inch uh, for free to uh, test and to do a, um, a review of. So this is the review. I've bought a, uh, an 18 as well. And I've also got a 10 inch, which I'll show you later. Uh, but I'll just be dealing with the 14 and 18 at the moment. Now, before, when these first came on the market, I was a bit worried about getting one. I was not really sure how I was going to use it because it was quite big and bulky, um, especially in the other position. Um, you need a bucket like this, um, this is good for an 18 inch, in my opinion you need it. Um, you can put it in there to rest like that, um, but you want to be able to dunk the whole thing in like that, so that the whole thing is wet. This is for one passing. Um, now you, as far as I'm concerned, one passing is, is the best way um, and I've been doing it for, for months now. I've had this tool for about a good 10 weeks. I've actually been through my round, some parts of my round, three times now with this tool and I've, I've used it in all different, um, the, the different combinations. I've used the 10 inch, the 14, the 18, one on its own, two on two together, all, all kind of variations. Now using the 14 is possibly the best thing to, to use for uh, domestic window cleaning. So I'm just gonna, so that's not really even dripping. It, it's, it's very wet, but it's not dripping all over the place. And you wanna make sure there's no suds in the um, in the rubber there, because that will bleed out onto the window as you, as you go across. That's the only thing to watch out for. So I'm just gonna go straight to clean this window as if, as if uh, I'm doing my job. ones like that with the uh, 14 just about zero detailing apart from the frames so there we go that's the, the windows done and then I'll use the cloth on the bottom of the um, frames and the window sill and of course you do make the odd mistake you do will miss a little bit so if, if you look at the edges on there you know, there's, there's, there's no soap on the glass uh, whatsoever. Up from there, just where I closed out. So, while you're up your ladder, especially, you need to put this somewhere. You don't want to be holding it all the time. So, you do need a bucket on the belt, really. And this is the, the Mormon bucket on the belt. And if you look, You've got like these two channels there, which is specifically for squeegees. You can put it in this one here, and that's fine. The rubber isn't even touching any of the um, the plastic. It's um, very safe. It's not going to get dented in there. I'll put the little squeegee in there as well, because I like a little squeegee. And you just saw me clean that top one, but you can also clean like this. You can just use it as an applicator. So you can just push that up, and then that's, that's ready you could squeegee that with, with, the, with the smaller one if you um, were on a window that you couldn't really you know squeegee with the 14 very easily or properly so especially when you're up the ladder you want to go up and down the ladder you want to be able to put your put your combinator like that you can actually fit two in there at once um, although I've never really felt the need to, to, to do that um, let's see now Put them like that, you can fit two. Uh, but I just have the one. Now this one has been modified. I'll just show you why. So this is the 18, it's unmodified, that's kind of out the packet. The, the, the liquidator is an old one I've been using for you know good year now. So I'll just give it a dunk and you just want it, you just want to just give it a little shake just to get the excess off as I said especially off the rubber now the problem with with it as it's out of the packet if you just come in close here it's fine it's fine it works but when you get to the edges of the corners the actual applicator part stops the the rubber from getting into the corner so you can't do it properly unless you have a very um, extreme angle like that and come down
and also at the bottom. See, we get to the bottom here. Well done. Just come round. See, as I get to the bottom there, it's totally in the way of me getting getting to it. Now, this these frames are coming away at quite an ankle, an angle, sorry. and um, it's easier to get it virtually right. See, I've got the tops right. Haven't quite got the bottom. If it was on a, a, a window where the frame comes out at a very kind of right, you know, straight angle, like a deep frame, this really does get in the way on those. And you have to come down all the way at that sort of an angle. You, you couldn't come down at that sort of an angle, even here. You see what I mean? You've got to, you've got to be sort of straight to the window all the time, unless you're cutting up like that. So if I'm coming at that angle, see, see all that? Whereas with this one, I can come down at the same angle and it's, it's taking it all off. So that's due to the modification that I've made. Now all I've really done is basically just cut the, um, the plastic uh, T-bar at an angle and cut the uh, the applicator sleeve just just enough of an angle so that um, it allows you to, to, to just to just to squeeze it at a more normal angle that you would normally do it at and you haven't really got to think about it then I might do a video showing you how to modify this one but it's pretty self-explanatory take the take the let me just take it off and show you it's the only thing that, that I, I don't like about the tool. Of course, it's not a problem if you if you're doing it in its other position. If you're doing it in that position, then yeah, it doesn't matter about it being modified at all. You can just do that, squeeze it. Not a problem. And by the way, the handle on its own is wonderful, extremely light. So even if you didn't want to use it. If you, if you use liquidators and you need a new handle, you should get the combinator handle because it's so much lighter. So, let's have a look here. See what we've done modification wise. Oops. So, you take that off. So as you can see, I've just cut it at an angle. Not at 45 degrees or anything, just a slight angle, just enough to get it so that you can come down the window at that sort of an angle, which is the more sort of way I do it at least, or any window cleaner. Whereas before you'd have to be sort of like that, which is problem on the corners and the bottom. And as I say, on any deep frame, it causes issues. So you have to cut that and also See, I've cut that. Not only that, I've cut off any bits of the the sleeve that, that are kind of sticking over, because they'll they'll then go on the frame. If all that was all fluffing over like it is here, it would go on the frame. Whereas now, if I'm, I don't have to be too careful, it will just come down, and it, it doesn't really go on the frame at all, because you don't want the suds going on the frame. If there's any marks on the frame initially dirt wise you just wipe it like that you, do, you don't want to get me getting soaked all over the frame like that and then you get your perfect squeegee squeegee off lovely but you've made a mess of the frames so you've got to detail the frames you don't want to do that you will have to do that if you don't modify it so cut it down trim off any excess um fabric see your bits keep coming out like, like that you just want to cut that off But as a general um, review of it, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful tool. It's probably the best tool you can get. It's the best tool I've ever used. I've used all sorts of stuff. Um, I certainly won't be going back to what I normally use. This is the best tool for me. The Combinator.